Welcome to Marifado. Our title today is a series of topics that we want to discuss uh, some African space terminologies. Uh, the first one is who thought of astronomy first? Who thought of astronomy first? If you blindly study books, if you go on Google or any other search engine for an answer, you are likely to be given a clue of who thought of astronomy first, which directs you solely to the Greeks. This bias is not accidental, but a well-crafted theft and cavalier culture plagiarizing habit of Greeks, Romans, white Arabs, and modern racist scholars. Even the International Astronomical Union is a biased organization. Its formal approved star names follows Greek, Arabic, and Latin origins. For example, Canopus, the second brightest star in the sky, is named after the navigator of the fleet of King Menelaus in the Trojan War of Greek myths. While Betelgeuse, the ninth brightest star in the night, comes from the Arabic Yad al jauza meaning Hand of the Giant, the giant being Orion, the constellation to which uh, Betelgeuse uh, belongs. So we can see that a lot of information here is a total lie. So we go back to the question, who were the first astronomers? To the other shock of many today, it were the melanin-dominant humans. Nabla Playa is the world's first astronomical site. It is found in ancient Hamid. It was built 7,000 years BCE of stone mapping the movement and the arrival of the summer solstice. As the oldest known astronomical site on Earth, it has now started to receive a lot of visitors and is now the most famous prehistoric monument amongst independent-minded thinkers and astronomers. What most of these modern astronomers ignore or deliberately omit is that it was erected 5,000 years ago uh, BCE by melanin-dominant human beings who were priest teachers, priest astronomers. Each African culture wrote stories about constellations of their importance in their culture. Some were for prayer times. Some were for other rituals. We have now forgotten all about this, even the moon rituals. If I ask any melanin-dominant human today, what did you do to receive the new moon? Very few will answer that. Cosmology in Australia among the melanin-dominant Bantus or humans is one of the oldest and had a lot of applications. Aboriginal culture was unique or is unique in that it identified the constellations by the dark clouds, dark matter instead of the stars. Think about that. Greek, So-called Greek astronomers arrive on the scene around 250 BCE. European astronomers, 14th century, that's when they started. Yesterday, Copernicus, Galileo, Kepler, all these scientists were actually arrested in Europe and prosecuted and persecuted for thinking astronomically. He was uh, put under a lot of pressure, house arrest for his science. And the iron of everything else today is that Europeans and the most educated Europeans mentally assume that Africans were primitive and backward even you going to the extent of using falsified IQ tables or results. Here is a star map painting by Bill Yudim Duma Hane, senior elder of the Warada man uh, people, featuring the Milky Way. This one. The moon, the stars, and the ancestors. The totemic ancestors. The totems of the ancestors. Today, the International Astronomical Union has unveiled new official names for 86 stars. Just imagine, 86 stars only in the sky. 
while this test are billions and the numberless stars. This image is credited to Bill Yidum Duma Hane. Now, let's go into the uh, Bantus. We start with the southern uh, part of Africa. We shall go to the east in the next series, East Africa, and then we'll go to the uh, West Africa, and then we will wrap up in Hamid. Stars had uh, a well developed vocabulary for these stars. Uh, we shall uh, present the Zulu vocabulary, and in our description, we've got a lot of other uh, references, and we shall also uh, plant here and there other uh, tribal names and other tribal uh, philosophies uh, around the astronomical bodies. The universe was known as Umkatilibe, space Umkatinga, the galax Umtalagazi, Milky Way Umzilafasimbe, constellation Umtala, star Inkanyezi, meteor Ikumanyezi, asteroid Umtlabana, comet Inkanyisila, the sun Ilanga, planet Umtlaba, Mercury Unomchubane, Venus Unokwezi, the earth Umtlaba, Mars Unoshezi, Jupiter Umkulukulwana, Saturn Unomakama, Uranus, Uno Ma Kekeba, Neptune, Unom Kati, Pluto, Unom Tuana. This is a uh, credit to Wisiswe Gomangwe Mazbuko, my sister. This is the universe, and these are the stars and all the philosophies of our ancestors. This captures everything that we are going to deal with uh, forthwith. The galax, according to Bantus, the Dogon cosmology looks like this. It is what science has now come to discover. And you can see here our sun, Nye, August Placenta, here. And there is Portolo, Sirius Star B, which Europeans never knew until they developed machines. Uh, and the galax galactic spiral arms that spin out from the galactic core are massed the pore. The clavicles are the first part of the skeletal system to develop in embryo. It grows in a circle or crescent shape. So there is a lot of information that our ancestors gathered. Advanced African astronomy before European science. This is the Dogon. Knowledge about the star Sirius uh, and star Sirius B, which cannot be seen by the eye, but which has now been detected by Europe. It wasn't until the 20th century uh, that Western astronomers finally proved the existence of Sirius B, which they found to be a white dwarf, smaller and heavier than Sirius, as the Dogon had stated, and whose elliptical orbit caused the large star to war. Right? This is the star which is heavier than that. The Dogons go as far as to describe a third Sirius a system called Emeya that to date has not yet been identified by astronomers because our equipment or equipment by astronomers is still behind. There is a lot that our ancestors knew and uh, hid from a lot of these people. So let's look a little bit on uh, stars uh, is in Kanyezi. In Nkosa, a star is in Kwenkwezi, in Kanyezi in Zulu, Nyenyezi in Shona, Dinaleldi in Soto, Tinyeleti in Tsonga, Maledzi in Venda, Linaleri in Setswana, and Nyota in Swahili. All that. The colorful star studded view of the Milky Way galax was captured when the uh, NASA ESI Habu telescope pointed its cameras towards the constellation of Sagittarius, the Asha. Blue stars can be seen scattered across the frame. These blue stars, right? Across the frame, these. Against a back, distant backdrop of red-hued cosmic companions, these are blue litter, most likely formed at the same time from the same collapsing molecular cloud. That's what they, they tell us. And our ancestors had already by that time identified all these stars 
and that's how they were able to build these uh, big uh, uh, structures. Soto, Tswana, and Venda traditions uh, identifies as stars the Tulua, the giraffes, the bright stars of the cracks are male giraffes, and the two pointers are female. You can see that. The Venda called the fainter stars of the Southern Cross to Dana, the little giraffe. Tweezer. Three delightful little warthogs celebrate the three stars known as Orient's Belt. Uh, the, among the English speakers, these stars are known as the bush pigs. Digolobe. Among Soto and Tswana speakers. Mtatu Mtatu. According to uh, the Karangas in Zimbabwe. Uh, this is a case of the Astronomical Society of South Africa Journal. Dot co dot za is given and shown uh, here. The sun, Ilanga, which is very critical and very important, called Ilanga in Kosa and Zulu, Duva in Venda, Zuva in Shona, and Letati in uh, Soto. There it is. That believe in a globe. The moon, Inyanga to the Kosa and Zulu, Mwemwezi in Shona and Venda, and Mwedi uh, to the Soto and Twana, Kora, Koi Koi, and also the Koi Koi knew the moon as Ham. And there it is straight, clear, uh, our ancestors and all this knowledge. So let's give some highlights of astronomical development uh, and give it uh, under a timeline. Very, very important. Three billion years BCE, the Bantus or melanin dominant humans emerge in, in a state we know as pre-life. And then amid cataclysms, they map the skies and erect the Sphinx as their signature, 800,000 years old. And that's almost a million years. 300,000 years BCE, astrology, which is indigenous to melanin dominant humans on the earth. 7,000 BCE, Nabla Playa, and then they start to have that here in uh, Africa. And now, about, about 70 years ago, Europeans started to have their knowledge now, uh, NASA, after a long, long, long uh, layoff. So beware of poisoned chalices, uh, because within Ubuntu Ma'ati philosophy, we have every seed that you need to truly advance in knowing and verifying all these ideas that are now being propelled all over. May you, the child of the greatest ever hunters, always rise to the stars and never falter or go down. This is a preacher Rabbi LM Dumisulu. This is our email. If you want to get in touch with us, uh, our website is also shown here so that we can continue in uh, this uh, understanding and so that we can build again this knowledge system and share it to the next generation. Tatenda siabonga. Dupe Asante Sana.